Scene script. Have you ever stopped to ponder, where does all the energy we use come from? Imagine a day without electricity, no lights, no refrigeration, no internet, no cell phones. Our lives would come to a standstill. But where does this power come from? The answer is energy. Energy, in its simplest form, is the ability to do work or cause change. It's a fundamental concept that underpins everything in the universe. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest galaxies, everything is driven by energy. But what exactly is energy? Well, if you've ever pushed a heavy object or ridden a bicycle, you've used energy. It's what allows you to apply a force over a distance. It's the reason why a light bulb glows, why an airplane flies, why a windmill spins and why the earth revolves around the sun. Energy is everywhere, in everything we do, everything we see and everything we feel. It's in the warmth of the sun, the light of the stars, the movement of the wind, the flow of water and the growth of plants. Energy comes in various forms. There's kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. There's potential energy, which is stored energy that has the potential to do work. There's thermal energy, which is associated with heat. There's electrical energy, which powers our homes and devices. There's chemical energy, which is stored in the bonds of molecules. There's nuclear energy, which powers the sun and nuclear power plants. And then there's gravitational energy, which keeps us firmly rooted to the Earth. But the most fascinating thing about energy is that it can be transformed from one form to another. For instance, a car engine converts chemical energy from fuel into mechanical energy that moves the wheels. A solar panel converts light energy from the sun into electrical energy that can power a home. So energy is not just about electricity or fuel for our cars. It's much broader than that. It's the force that drives the universe the power that fuels life and the spark that ignites innovation. Without energy, there would be no life, no movement, no change, no progress. So next time you switch on a light or start your car, remember the incredible journey of energy that makes it all possible. Think about a moving car or a flowing river, what do they have in common? They both possess kinetic energy. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It's that invisible force that propels an object forward, backward, or in a circular path. Whether it's a tiny hummingbird fluttering its wings, a soccer ball being kicked towards the goal, or a planet orbiting the sun, if it's moving, it's got kinetic energy. How do we measure it, you ask? Well, kinetic energy depends on two key factors the mass of the object and its speed. Picture this, a freight train and a bicycle both moving at the same speed. The train having more mass will have more kinetic energy than the bicycle. On the flip side, a small object moving at a high speed can also have a significant amount of kinetic energy. In essence, the faster an object moves, the more kinetic energy it possesses. Now, imagine a stretched rubber band or a rock at the edge of a cliff. They are not moving, yet they hold energy. This is potential energy. It's a form of energy that an object or a system has because of its position or state. The name potential energy itself suggests that it has the potential to be converted into other forms of energy. Think about a wound up spring. It's not doing anything, right? But release the catch and off it goes. The energy stored in the wound up spring is an example of potential energy. Or picture a dam holding back tons of water. The water isn't moving, yet it possesses a tremendous amount of energy due to its position relative to the ground. This energy can be harnessed to generate electricity, another form of energy. Potential energy underpins many of the most fundamental phenomena in our universe, from the simple act of an apple falling from a tree to the complex interactions within a star. Remember, potential energy is energy waiting to happen. Ever wonder why a hot cup of coffee warms your hands? That's because of thermal energy. Now, let's dive into the science behind this. Thermal energy is a type of energy that comes from heat. But where does this heat come from, you may ask? It's all about the movement of tiny particles within an object. Imagine a bustling city with cars zooming around. That's what's happening at a microscopic level within any object. The faster these particles move, the more heat they generate. This heat is what we refer to as thermal energy. From the warmth of a cozy fire to the heat from our own bodies, thermal energy is all around us. It's essential for life as we know it, powering everything from our household appliances to the natural processes that shape our world. 
Now, here's a fun fact. The hotter an object is, the more thermal energy it has. So, next time you're warming your hands with a hot cup of coffee, remember, you're experiencing thermal energy in action. Energy doesn't stop at kinetic, potential and thermal, there are several other forms too. Let's begin with chemical energy. This type of energy is stored in the bonds of chemical compounds like atoms and molecules. Think about the food you eat. The process of digestion breaks down these bonds, releasing energy that your body uses to function. Next, we have electrical energy. It's produced by the movement of electrically charged particles. When you flip a light switch, electrical energy is transformed into light and heat energy illuminating your room. Radiant energy, also known as electromagnetic energy, is next on our list. This energy travels in waves and can move through space. It's the energy you see when you look at the stars, feel when the sun warms your skin, and even the energy that cooks your food in a microwave. Nuclear energy, on the other hand, comes from the nucleus of an atom. When the nucleus of an atom splits, in a process called fission, or when nuclei combine, in a process called fusion, a large amount of energy is released. This energy powers the sun and nuclear power plants. Lastly, let's not forget sound energy. This is the energy produced when a material vibrates. These vibrations create sound waves that move through mediums such as air, water, or steel and reach our ears. As you can see, energy comes in many forms, each with its unique characteristics. From the food you eat, to the stars in the sky, to the music you listen to, energy is everywhere. It's a fundamental part of our universe, and understanding its different forms helps us to understand the world around us better. Now that we've taken a whirlwind tour of energy and its types, let's recap what we've learned. We started our journey by defining energy as the capacity to do work. It's this incredible force that powers everything around us. It's in the warmth of the sun, the food we eat, and even in the devices we use. From there, we dove into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. Whether it's a soccer ball being kicked or a car speeding down the highway, kinetic energy is at work. It's dynamic, always on the move and it's the reason we can run, jump, and play. Next, we explored potential energy, the energy of position or state. It's like a sleeping giant waiting for the right moment to awaken. A drawn bow ready to launch an arrow, a book perched on a shelf, a roller coaster at the peak of its track. All these are examples of potential energy. Then we turned our attention to thermal energy, the energy of heat. It's what makes our coffee hot, warms our homes, and drives steam engines. It's the energy that results from the movement of tiny particles within objects. We also uncovered other fascinating forms of energy, like chemical, nuclear, and electrical energy, each with their own unique characteristics and applications. But the most important point to remember is this. Energy is everywhere, and it comes in various forms. It's an integral part of our universe, constantly changing from one form to another, but never disappearing. It's in the light bulb illuminating your room, the sound of your voice, and the car you drive. So as we conclude, let's take a moment to appreciate the complex and beautiful world of energy that surrounds us. It's a world that's full of wonders and mysteries waiting to be discovered and understood. And remember, every time you switch on a light, take a ride, or even make a sound, you're using energy. So keep exploring the fascinating world of science with us and subscribe the channel for more science content.